levels. Oh, there's stuff. So I, didn't, I didn't know there was levels to it. No, there's levels to everything, fool. It's not about not wanting, but it's about not knowing. But see, we but tener but tener where I was, pues ocupo un pinche gallo, wey. And again, yes, could fat check. fat check him. They told me too. And you're and you're humble as fuck. <laughs> Why not? Yes, it's not scary. Also, too, coño. Welcome, 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 and welcome back again to another episode of the Y Podcast. I'm your host Memo, Omar, and. This is the... This is the why. I was going to repeat after you. No, no, wait. No, I just said it, wait. And then you have to say... No, you're going to say Why, that. bro? And then I say, why not? Be acting like this is the fucking first episode, fool. Why, dude? It's called the why podcast, not the why not. After I... I just did a whole introduction right now, fool. Almost like 10 second introductions. And I was waiting for you. And you say, Omar. And then I was going to you were going to say, why, bro? And then I come and say, why not? Okay. Yeah, don't touch you me, man. Look, guys, my friend here, my friend here, my padrino here has been. Me pegaste la negatividad, viejo. Desde que digamos aquí, viejo. My padrino has been stressful. My fucking job, fool. I. Anyways, yeah, I apologize for what he's going through. Breathe. Take three seconds off. Breathe. Wow, he does that. Let me go ahead and talk to you guys real quick. If you're not subscribed, what the hell are you doing? You need teachers, fool. Why the fuck? What else are they gonna be doing, fool? What else are going to be doing? Are you done resting? I'm teaches, dog. I'm just answering you. Go ahead, bro. I'm sorry about that, carnalillo. Anyway, how you been, bro? Good, viejo. The weather is perfect, viejo. <laughs> it finally came back and warm. It's because... You know what? I'm glad that you said that because... It hits different when you're on vacation, bro. Mm. Because right now you're getting out of work. It's fucking high. You know what I mean? It's not the business, bro. We have that idea of doing it over there, we... We're gonna have to put like some air. Esta va a estar hirviendo allá adentro, viejo. Va a estar hirviendo, ¿no? Se pone un pinche aire acondicionado ahí. Lindo, viejo. No, tú no tienes todo planeado ya, viejo. ¿Y luego? No, pues para qué. Acá ando alegando yo. Disculpe, viejo. <laughs> anyway, how you been, brother? And the beautiful weather. 100%. I just came back from a Disney cruise. What? Yeah, bro. Oh, boy. Hay billete ahí por eso. No, viejo, qué billete. If you have kids, I highly recommend it. Uh-huh. Por qué? Because you see your kids happy, way They're all smiling. Oh, my God. I'm Mickey, Donald Mickey. Don, Daisy, Pluto. Pluto. Mini. O sea que, it was a three-day cruise, viejo. Levesón. Uh-huh. Um, we um, took off, departed from San Diego port. We came back to Catalina one day here. And then we went back to Ensenada. And then we came back. We didn't get off in another because we went to Catalina. We went to Ensenada. So we just enjoyed the cruise itself. Oh, you don't, you don't, uh, you don't get off at all. No, no, no. If you do, if you want to get off, you can get off. Okay. But we did, we chose not to get off just because we already know when to mm. You know, um, Catalina, and um, so we just decided to enjoy the rest. We had tenían comida, tenían restaurantes, tenían de todo. We had. So how does that work, way? So the boat gets to the location, mm-hmm. and then they just park, and then people just get out. Yeah, do they so, have like a time to come back? So it's a park? dock. Yeah, it's a docking time. Usually gets around like an eight. Catalina, we got there at seven thirty. Um, by 8, they were like debarking if you wanted to get off, and you had to be back on the boat by 4.45, viejo. Um, 4.45 was the last time, um, the last boarding on the actual um, ship. So, I'm sorry. You said by 8 a.m.? The debarking gets there at, the, the, the ship got there at 7. Right. Debarking 7 a.m. in Catalina. So, yeah, what, what did you understand? Okay. I'm sorry, bro. Okay. What the hell is a debarking? When you get off the you boat. Off. Okay, so you get there at seven. Yeah, the, the the ship arrives at seven, correct? Docks on the on docks on the on the. You get off at eight. Yeah. Roughly, uh-huh. and then you come that eight a.m. Eight a.m. Correct. Yeah. And then you come back at four p.m. Y- yeah. Oh, you okay. yeah yeah yeah. Okay. You you could okay. come back whenever you want because the boat is the boat is there, but the boat leaves the dock at four. Uh, I think at five. Okay. So if you're not there by 4.45, because they have to load everything at 4.45 and then get off and it takes off at 5 p.m. So if you're not there at 5, 4.45, what the dejan a la chingada? Oh, they don't, they don't. Oh, hey, they don't wait for you. From, hey, 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 let's wait for Memo. He's still hey, there. Yeah, fuck He's him. buying something. He's in the restroom. Fuck him. He's in the restroom. Que se quede pegado ahí. Yeah, they don't wait for you. We go so. <clears throat> and then um, once it takes off, it goes straight directly to Ensenada. Tell me how to say it. Yeah, Ensenada. Same thing, Ensenada. Um, I think we got there at 8. And then they started um, getting off people that wanted to get off. They started getting off at 8.30, and then they started doing their thing. They have excursions out there, you know, in Sanada, like little 
it's um it's like little Tijuana basically, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, most of the people got off, so the ship wasn't as full, so the restaurants was good. <clears throat> but they have like multiple restaurants because they have um, um, I don't know, it's just multiple. I I guess more restaurants. And then what I really enjoyed there was the place, the the place, the place when you have like a stage and they act. Oh, the out. boat. Yeah. Okay. Th- that's what I. I'm I'm telling you what I enjoy the most from the trip. No, no, no. I'm talking like the plays were like, okay. Yeah, yeah. So there's like ten levels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When you walk in the ship, you see a grand entrance. Like, oh shit, the madre fell. Welcome to our Disney cruise. No. Um. Oh, what's your name again? What's your last name? Okay. I'm waiting for your last name. Oh, Osuna. Oh. Please welcome the Ramirez family. And then no way. And a big mic and everybody's like like the crew members are like standing around, they plot and they like welcome you. <clears throat> and then you go um you go to your um For every single person? Every single person. Shut the yeah, fuck up. Yeah. So I mean well, I mean you people are walking in and they're not staying there, they're going back to their to their room, whatever it is, getting situated. Um but yeah, so once you get there, you get situated in your room, the rooms are nice, you go, I mean we got a, a nice little uh, a view on the of the of the ocean of the ocean. Um, it was nice. I mean, we don't stay. We just stand there to sleep. basically, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. We were on, on the ship. There's toboganes, which is on um, water slides on top. Oh, okay. Pools. Um, all you can eat buffet. Um, outside they have like the snacks, so, like the pizza, hamburgers. So everything's already paid for. Everything is paid for. Viejon. Alcohol too. So the alcohol, you would have to get like an additional package. Okay. Aside from the purchase of the ticket. Okay. But um, other than that, yeah, it's all you can drink if you... But once you get that package, it's unlimited drinks. Safe. Okay. And then you're feeling sick, seasick, they have um, um room service 24 hours. Okay. Um, te limpian, like, te limpian el, um, el room every day. So as un desmadre, viejo, and then you go out, you come back, the room's clean. A gusto, viejo. Shh. Um, we they had um like different they have the play when we went to a, one of the plays was um, Lion King, another play was um Frozen, and then the last play that we went to is called um I, I think Disney Enchanted and it, and it's like an accumulation of all the stories you know Peter Pan it's like a, it's it's really nice people, uh, I really enjoyed it and um it was pretty fun, you don't really feel the boat. I was gonna ask you that. Do you so, feel like the so I, I've been to a cruise. I went to a Carnival cruise. And this time around, I felt it a bit more. I don't know why. I felt the boat. I mean, you don't feel it like drastically, but you feel like you're moving like, shh, like it's weird. But it's not scary. It's cool. But um, I highly recommend it if you're like motions, you get motion sickness fast. No. Um, no, no. You could bring like bracelets to avoid all that or um pills. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah. Um, I really, de- I really enjoy. I hope. I mean, I recommend you guys going to the Disney Cruise. It's very little bit expensive, but I think it's worth it when you see your children happy and. So, so what's the difference between the Disney cruise and the, you say, Carnival? Yeah. As far as in- entertainment-wise? No, because Disney, people, um, it's Disney. It's like Disney, I don't know. Right, 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 right. So you, you, you have um, every every day there's an itinerary, people. There's um, characters walking around all the time, taking pictures, signatures, all that stuff. Little, there's people with um, their costumes, like Woody, Meanie, whatever it is. So Carnival Cruise is cool, too. It's way cheaper. Um, carnival is considered ghetto. No way. Yeah, carnival is like a like a spirit, like a Southwest. What else? JetBlue. JetBlue is kind of a little bit nicer, but I think they bought off mm-hmm. Spirit, right? Uh, but yeah, that's considered the the seals of the sea. You know how the pigeons of the sky are there. Yeah? yeah. So if you want to get to more sophisticated ones, you got like Norwegian, you got other ones, the princess, all that. There's other stuff. So I didn't. I didn't know there was levels to. No, there's levels to everything, fool. Oh shit! Well, you're mad as fuck. We got the letter for one. <laughs> okay, so you got you got Carnaval. Mm-hmm. You got like category F, D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what's on top? I I don't know a lot of the cruise ships, but I think um there's a the Norwegian one. Okay. Norwegian, I guess. Um, and then there's other ones. The Princess Crown, I think, is called another one. There's a lot of cruises, fool. Uh-huh. I can't name on the top of my head, fool, but um, there's some that are three days, seven days. One of my friends, one of my coworkers, her family, her in-laws went on a 21-day cruise. We go, that's fucking sick as fuck, bro. A whole month? And that's going, like, to Europe, Iceland, Spain, yeah. Italy. Oh, you can. So, so I think those, you could stay. I think they dock for, like, two days here, three days. Because if you go one day here, it's just kind of, you can't. 
really do yeah, yeah, you can. I get you. I have a uh, have um padrino. You met them over there at the at the wedding. Okay. Um, Isabel. Okay. They they do cruises a lot. Uh-huh. I think they just recently went to Africa. I think they told you about oh, it. Oh, right? that's fucking. They sick. went to Africa, so I know they like to. Simon, they, they on that. But yeah. that's cool, man. I'm 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 happy for you. I'm well, happy. Thank you. Would you go? Would you go back? Uh, not in a while. Why? Because it's expensive. That's why. In a cruise in general. No, cruise in general, yeah. We'll probably would. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We'll, but we'll do another carnival. Carnivals are super nice. I don't know that. A couple years ago, I, I came across an article that there was a cruise for 365 days. Shh, that's when the pandemic was on, huh? I believe so, yeah. yeah that's it, was an argue, it was a huge thing, but... um. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, talking about the carnival, I'm mean, talking about cruises, there's like people, retired people that are live off just ship. They just go on cruise, on cruise, on cruise, and cruise because it's more, it's it's cheaper than fucking, it's cheaper than um renting rent than now. Paying rent, paying rent. With yeah, I know. I seen that report too. It's cool. Yeah, but there's a, there, there's a lot of retired people that just like to travel in general. I've I've met a couple across my my traveling experience. <laughs> so I have think I I don't really travel, but. I'm trying to get into it. My wife has plans on going, but yeah, who knows, um, right? yeah. I think um, I think it's good to expose yourself young, you know, because sometimes you like all these. Not nothing wrong with old people, but because they work all the time and yeah. they want to go in. Like sometimes they do a little jingle, they need, they can't walk around. It's like fuck. I don't want to be like that. If I want to enjoy it now that I'm young right now, you know. But you know what? I'm a, I'm a I'm a You're the devil's advocate. No, I'm gonna give you perspective on something that okay. I just kind of came into realization. It's not about not wanting, but it's about not knowing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Not knowing there's something out there. Get yeah. what I'm saying? Like that. Sadly, mm. I could say that me growing up, not even growing up, but the fucking old adult way, phone was like, hey, let's go to a club oh, and spend a fucking money there. Hey, oh, yeah. hey let's throw a party. Let's get a grupo oh, and wait, spend a whole fucking money there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead yeah. of fucking traveling. And then I look back and I'm like, fuck, I fucking travel. No, 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 but hey. There's nothing I could do, right? Just move forward. And no, no, I but I feel but like I not, you not, had fun. Yeah, no, yeah, I had fun. But now that, that I've gone to Cancun, then, yes. bro, it's like fucking five times more fun. You know what I mean? And, and going back to that, that's why the cruise of, of the Disney cruise, I could have done a whole week stay in Cancun, bro. With the money? Hell yeah, a whole week. And I did days over here. So that's why I'll, I'll think twice about it. Uh-huh. Or we could have gotten a, um, a annual, two annual passes. Two annual passes. For Disneyland the whole year instead of the whole three-day cruise. And that's expensive, bro. That's expensive, bro. Yeah. But I mean, it's something that nobody, no, not in the me because I already did hey, it. You know exactly. what I mean? So, yeah. like I said, I, I don't regret it because we've, we've been wanting to do that and we were actually planning to do the the Bahamas one because there's one that cast away that one, there's another one that goes from uh, Miami, takes off from Orlando and it goes like to the Bahamas uh-huh. and um, I think Disneyland has its own like island. They bought an own island so they like doctor and they have like a whole Disney sh- like a little oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. So, we wanted to do that, but that shit's more expensive, bro. I bet. Fuck anything. Hay billete, Disney. viejo. En Disneylandia es una mafia, viejo. Billetes, viejo. Ahí. And prices are still going up. Yeah, because we pay for them. Let's talk about prices going up. Let's do a switch. A ver. So there was a new law. It, it became effective a couple of weeks ago, a, couple, a week ago. So any fast food restaurants, the minimum wage is $20. Mm-hmm. Now it's good. They're paying their employees more. Now, I don't know if you agree with me or not, but I feel like it's affecting us now. Okay. McDonald's went viral a couple of days ago because they had a menu of chicken nuggets mm. and two fries for $25. Si pasaron de lanza. I went to, shout out to my coworkers. We were going to go eat. Covers. Three of us, mm. it was like $67. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro, it's expensive and it's dumb. And I, I was just curious. I was like, oh, pues, you know, she was like, she, because the lady was like up and down, right? And I was like, oh, pues, you know, Thomas Snap está bien. And my, one of my coworkers was like, no, pues, te están pagando bien, está bien. And then she told us, no, ya, ya no hay gente aquí. Ya, yo estoy haciendo como tres trabajos. But why? Because they, she gets higher pay, so now they expect her to do more. But what about when jobs expect you to do more with the same pay? That's what I'm dealing with right now. They're giving you more work and not getting con- compensated for it. It's one of those things like, what do you mean by more work? You need to write... No, no, no. The work that three people used to do, now one person does. That's what I mean. Oh, I'm talking about um, 
the minimum wage being um, going up, right? Your governor apparently owns a couple of restaurants and never getting paid still a minimum wage. And that's a governor, fool. I don't want to go out to... I'm sorry about that. I was just talking. Uh, Do we need a new governor? Who knows? Who knows, right? I just need to take care of my own shit, bro. Exactly. If you don't like the system... Go to Texas or... Uh, I, I mean Texas, or... It's wild over there, too. It's the wild, wild west. Weather, crickets. All fucked up. It's all right, though. But, um, yeah, I mean, going back to that minimum wage, bro, inflation has been going up so much, bro. Well, now farmers want to get paid twenty dollars. Like, like, uh, like, uh, how do you call it? How do you call it? Like farmers, oh, um, agricultural workers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They want to get paid twenty dollars. Shut. Esa es una putiza, es rollo, güey. I get that. Okay, I get that, and I agree with them. And that's essential. That shit's gonna be more expensive now. If you think your market's yes, expensive I now, will, if everything goes up, of course, bro. They have to. They have to balance it out. Yes, that's how shit works, bro. Um, it's unfortunate, amigo. Sad. That's what the aguacates when para one pinche aguacate you get the five dollars way. Tan pa la chingada way. Five dollars. I have like five seeds that I want to plant for. <laughs> my my wife like I don't I don't care for avocado, but my wife loves avocado. I love avocado too. She be putting extra on burritos like oh. Tres dollars más. Chale más. Ah, oh, nice. Nah, I mean, if uh, yeah, but I think again, you want to take hands into your hands. You plant plant a little fucking tree way. Or the menos pinches huevos, güey. Los huevos, did you hear about the Hoens que se encendió? One of the biggest um, distribution of egg farms will burn down the fuck down, güey. Imagine that, yo, a big ass form of hand laying eggs. Yeah. Y se quema la chingada, amigo. And that's one of the biggest distributors for the, I think, for the for the West Coast in um, eggs, güey. So now there's going to be a shortage of eggs and the eggs prices are going to go high as fuck, bro. Talk about eggs, güey. Huevos. I don't know how to. Okay, so at my mom's house, yeah, you came. That's you a, came down. That's a good one. Fool. Hey, you make del rancho, yo. So at my mom's house, there was a. They gave her a kitch, uh, kitchen, a chicken, a rooster, a hen, a, a, hen, a, hen, a hen, a hen, and she would go every other day and pick up the pick up the eggs and put them in the fridge. That's it. When she would make eggs for us. We wouldn't know if there were the eggs from outside or there were the eggs from the from from the from the store. store. So one time I saw her and she got it and she put it in the fridge and I'm like, hey, isn't that the chicken one? She's like, oh yeah. I'm like, but isn't like again, I didn't know way. Eh? And uh she's like, Oh yeah, yeah, no están saliendo bien los huevos. I'ma I'm gonna make a chicken, chicken soup. So yeah, she killed the chicken. <laughs> took the took the, the feathers out. She made a bomb chicken soup. Okay, okay. When she's sick, no time saying no the walls, what does she mean, we? I, I have no idea, bro. She wasn't giving eggs anymore, we. Ah, okay. Maybe she was already old. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't know what it was. I don't know, like, the, the context of it, okay. but I remember that. She's like, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, she cooked it. She made some fucking bomb ass caldo de pollo. Oh, bro. And bro, that, that's, that's how the ranch was, fool. Dijo, allá cuando voy para allá, con mi, cuando vive mi papá, vea, dijo, la, la cosa es, es en caliente, viejo. Ay, un, que un cuarto de pollo. A ver, ve para atrás y agarra un pinche gallina. ¿Cómo que? Una gallina, ¿cuál quieres de gallinas? What do you mean? Pues, ¿cómo quieres comer pollo? Pues, quiero un pollito, caldo de pollo. Pues, agarra una gallina allá atrás. Fuck, dude. You get that shit. Lo en el cuello. ¡Ca! ¡Ca! <risa> Done. Lo pelan y todo, y, y el, la gallina amarilla, fu. You're like, where the fuck? Why is it so yellow? That's how they're supposed to look. Yeah. Right? And we're fucking used to seeing white ass, pale white ass, ass yeah, yeah, yeah. thinking that's the the good thing. We know, way. El pinta la gallina es amarilla, way. She she. It's it's a it's a it's a it's a hassle pelando la way. I mean, uh, yeah. Well, it has to do with it, hot hot yeah, ass water, like boiling water. Sí, way. Pero yeah, nowadays with no that machine. Yeah, was just... was Simon, Pero um, talking about eggs, way. I didn't know, viejo. Until you went to the house, right? Until I went to your house, way. So I, I, what we're saying, we went, we were in a, a fiesta, and he had that gallina in a jaula. And I'm like, is that gallina we have as a pet or what the fuck? And you're like, no way, para para que huevos. What do you mean? Dude? Where the fuck is the gallo? <laughs> Me not knowing, way. Like, where the fuck is the gallo, afu? Like, what do you mean? We're like, but see, we para tener para tener huevos, pues ocupo un pinche gallo, way. No way. 
So if you guys did not know, because I did not know until Omar put me on that shit, and I'm supposedly the fucking ranch guy here, and I was some bullshit, wait. Hasta la fecha, mi mamá me sigue alegando eso, viejo. Bueno. Oh, really? Yes, way. And she was born in a fucking rancho. I don't think she realizes it. So, a gallina pone huevos con o sin el gallo, viejo. Yeah. Now, if you want for the gallina to have pollitos, viejo, that's where the gallo comes in play, viejo. Yeah. Well, obviamente, pues, la, el, la gallina, pues, lo pisa el pinche, la, la gallina, digo, el gallo pisa la gallina, viejo. Yeah. Y ya, pues, la, la gallina se pone ahí, and starts uh, incubating the eggs, viejo, y, pues, ahí nacen los pinches pollitos, viejo. Pero, sin el gallo, pues, la gallina no, no va, the egg is not going to develop, viejo, there's no way of developing, because there's no, you know, no, no, pues, no, ahí no está el gallo, viejo. So, I didn't know that, viejo. Y le sigo diciendo, mamá, ¿usted sabía que no se ocupa un gallo para, estás bien pendejo? Vamos a la mamá. ¿Cómo te gusta chingar? It just starts talking shit. I'm like, I, I, why do you feel so strongly about it? If that, that's not true, though. We need, we need to give her, we need to give her a, a hand. No, yo le dije porque porque um, a neighbor of my wife, my wife's, um, my suegra's neighbor has gallinas, viejo. Uh-huh. Y se iban a ir ellos para para de, de viaje y pues tiene un chingo de gallos, viejo. So they have a lot of eggs. Fue like daily un chingo de huevos, viejo. They were putting in huevos in there. So nos dio una caja de puros huevos y fue pues chulada, viejo. Luego se sabe la diferencia, viejo. Yeah, my mom said like she would give them like really good food. Like, yeah, you, so, like you they can... have to, you have to give them the nutrients. Bro, and um, and the eggshell is so thin. Yeah. Like, a lot of shit, like, he's like, what the? Ya te pones a pensar, like, damn, dude, like, entonces que no están sirviendo allá. But, yeah. Um, I didn't know that, viejo, so. And it has a lot to do with the temperature. Um, I don't know if it was her who told me it was this, where they had a, a box way that they were supposed to send out. And it, was, it wasn't a lot, but it was a lot of eggs way. And they left them in, in the outside because they were supposed to take them, but nobody took them. They left them outside, and it was hot away. So the sun hit the hit the eggs. Nacieron. When they came back, all the fucking little pollitos were all over the place. I love I'm like, what this, the fuck? Yeah. They were supposed to take them. With a oh they picked them up. shit! That's crazy, bro. I mean, usually they have to keep them warm at temperatures. Yeah, like that. yeah. But imagine that. That's why the hand sits on top of them to keep them warm, yeah, so they can. Eat the pinche gallinita. Yeah, but that's. That's crazy, bro. I mean, that's my ultimate goal, viejo. I mean, we could, we could, we could be like unas tres ahí. No, no, no. I'm talking about a homestead. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. To like like having don't a, rely on the outside. Sí, yeah, yeah. Viejo, uno, uno, sí. It's a lot of work, bro. It's a, it's lot, a lot of work. work. And most important, time consuming. Way you need to make time for it. Pues a huevo, güey. That's with anything, right? Cuando pegue esta madre que vamos a tener tiempo para grabando, viejo, y allá poner pinche gallina de hacer todo ese desmadre. Yeah, I th- but I think certain cities don't allow. Yeah, certain cities. Yeah, don't wait. Work. So I don't. Right think there where she lived, they, they don't allow it, wait. Oh, pero lo tiene así nomás contrabando, pues no, wait. Um, where my, oh, my sister is at, yeah, say si tienen como allá donde allá en Compton, wait, pues ahí tienen muchos ranchos ahí, viejo. Yeah. So they do allow stuff like that, but yeah, it just depends, and I think it also depends on your neighbors, because I don't know if they're like, yeah, it's like ah, pinche. That's why having a, a gallo is very delicate because those pinche gallos a las cinco de la mañana, ah, cara, cara, y pues se levanta la gente, wey. for real. Pero. I mean, shit, it's, it's crazy. That, yeah, like I said, most of my goal, one of those is to have, like, a homestead like that and just, like, have my own little ranchito and my little fucking pollitos. Did you know that, um, how long, if you kill, if you have a cow, ¿cuándo te dura esa pinche vaca, amigo? Para chingarte toda la carne de la vaca, güey. No, that, that's, that's, that's another, like, that's another fucking, what? Like, a chicken's a whole, but cow's a whole different conversation, güey. Like for for meat purpose, right? To eat. Yeah, no, no. To for meat for to sell. Like, I have a friend, way, que su dad allá in, in, in Mexico, he has a bunch of cows. He tiene nombre para todas, and he's always checking up on them by by names. He knows which ones which. That's everything. crazy, bro. And he says like he's like don't even start him on the conversation back because because he could be here all day talking about every vaca that he has. And 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 they know him like and then it's crazy, bro. I don't know, but. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Even your dad, your dad was showing me like, oh, mira, es la novecita que tengo esta. Pero uh, es crazy because I'm like, I'm like, how the fuck, I'm like, how do you know? I'm like, pues cómo no vas a ver? Son como mis hijos. I'm like, I guess, right? I guess. I guess. I mean, you start dealing with them every day, so you kind of know what's going on. And and you, I don't know. I just I just see them the same way. Yeah. If they're like fucking five spotted vacas, way, I wouldn't know which is which, you know. But they, he, he knows. It's one of those things where, like, you have twin brothers. You don't know. When they see them, they're like, how do you know? They look identical. Yeah, like yeah, You yeah, live yeah. with them so, so long that you're like, I know which one's which, you know? It's one of those things where, like, you deal with them every day. But, yeah. 
Yeah, we. That'd be nice, we. Yeah, I, I want that. I want that. I'm gonna have that. That's right. I'm gonna have that. I think it's a relaxing time. You just do shit, some cowboy shit. You know what I'm saying? Pick up the poop. I mean, after that them. No, use that as manure. That's, 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 that's fertilizer for the fucking. For, uh, calm the fuck down. But you, you start their way. You start with chicken, then with cow, then sheep. Then you start getting horses. Lim. And now you have to start cleaning there. After, that's what I'm saying. It takes so much time, so much effort, so much money, too, way. Eh? You got to well, feed but, them. But you could use that as tax write off, too, bro. There's tax write off for like that. Again, shit, it's not knowing, way. I understand that, but. The homie Rick Ross recently bought a cow. He's like, "What the fuck? Forgot how? Because if you if you have some type of farmed animal, that could go into like a tax bracket, people. No way. A huevo way. So we have chickens here. If the city allows it, yeah, you could use that as a fucking as a as a tax write off. Yeah, of course. No way. Hell yeah. Not, not knowing, bro. Not, yeah, not knowing. Not but yeah, you could use that as a tax write off. I think I think the alimento of the animal, like. And what you use it for is for alimento for you too. Yeah. And if you sell your your product like for like you know there's, there's a lot of um flea markets, a lot of um what do you call those farm market farmer farm market, market yeah. that they sell their shit with. They yeah. sell their fucking carton de pinche huevos or or the the stock the carrots that they just pick. We we have one on Wednesdays at the at, at work. Oh, that's so cool. They come and they sell their fruit. They sell like oh, uh, um, organic yeah, most of the stuff organic. organic. Going to organic, I noticed on the notes you wrote about. I don't even want to talk about it. The tomate, tomate. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. No, no, no. So, um, th- apparently there's there's not a, not a trend, but el tomate rojo. ¿Cómo lo conoces tú, viejo? Tomate. Okay. Well, there's people, my wife, people that say my my suegra say he tomate, viejo. He he tomate, yeah, yeah. Okay, I say tomate. Tomate okay. rojo es tomate rojo, pero son people say oh, he tomate. I'm glad you brought that up, boy. Because when I was younger, way, and I used to go to the market with my mom, they used to say the jitomate, way. He said, jitomate. That's what he said, and jitomate, whatever, the pound. Recently, I went to the to, to Norgate, and there's it doesn't say tomate. Is it jitomate? It doesn't say jitomate anymore. Now it has tomate, tomate roma, tomate roma, tomate rojo. Tomate cherry, so there's different ones now. Yeah, yeah. But I, I vividly remember no, 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 saying yeah, yeah, tomate, yeah. way. The yeah. tomate was red, tomate was green. Tomatillo. No, tomate. Oh fuck. Tomate I know was the green, green was tomatillo. Because verde, salsa verde tomatillo. Okay. I remember he said tomate, way. Because okay. I remember she was like, oh, I got, I got those libras de tomate, and I was like, hell yeah, it's and probably, I used to measure them and stuff. But it's one of those things where like, what happened? It's, you know what probably, I mean? it's probably like the. Like the Mandela, what is it? Mandela effect, something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, fuck, you know what I mean. But now it's like, even when, even when you do shopping online, because I've been on that online yeah. grocery shopping. Lindo, you go. They send you the oh, you know, cherry tomato, mm-hmm. uh, Rome tomato. Oh, right you know now. What, I mean? what do you usually so, get? Because I usually get Rome tomatoes. My wife says Roma tomato, but I was talking to my sister last time. She told me she gets this big ass tomatoes because they are tomate rojos, and she she has her whole like. Way of cooking, yeah, yeah, of course. She puts them in the freezer, way. Oh, and then as she's like getting rid of them, she starts taking them off the freezer. Oh, that's good. they're really good. And I've never. She makes everything from scratch, way. Yeah, like, that's good. La 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 salsa roja. Evo. Oh, what is it like? Uh, tomato sauce. Yeah, you know yeah. How yeah. You people buy cans. See, si. she makes everything from scratch. S- Alfredo sauce, ah, all that from scratch, way. Es lo bueno, viejo. Eso es lo bueno. No preserve it. Es un desmadre que el pinche can y si está colorado se rode de pinche. Yeah. What do we go? I'm not. I. I grew up with canned food, way. Now you have the other, viejo. But now when you try the, the better shit, yeah. Because, yeah, he said, no, because you wouldn't go back to that. You know what I mean? It's like, como dicen, le das un día un pinche tanque, un día being flaco, they won't go back to being a tanque, fool. There's a lot of foods out there, way, that you can, we, we've liked, like, for example, there was a study not too long ago, and you guys could go ahead and look this up. Fat, fat check him. There, there was a study that the cup of noodles, are linked to heart problems, and it increases by like heart thirty disease. percent heart disease, yeah, something like fire, that. Fire, bro! Have you seen how they make those? Yeah, shit? after no, I seen no, that, no, I stopped eating them. Fuck! Google, make sure you guys YouTube that or Google it and make sure and see how they make the cup of noodles. Wait, don't even, it's don't even look, little, bro. Yeah. Don't even look at them if you guys are gonna, if you guys get disgusted. No, 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 no! no. Look at it because if you're eating that shit every day, because it's fine, because it's fire, bro. It's bad for you. Don't even get me started on the sausages. Before we go further, the bread that you that you just bought, 
What do you, how do you call that? How do I call it? Yeah, what do you call it? The one that you just bought. Polillo. Okay. Me too. But I can't take a... Birote. Yeah, I don't know about all that. Yeah, I've heard people... Um, the, the bakery, when I get them um, on my $4 de bolillo, they say, oh, okay, I'm going to get your $4 de birote. I know, because obviously... Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. I, how do you guys call it? You guys call it bolillo or birote? Birote sounds extreme, but in the... Or do you guys call it tomate or jitomate? Jitomate. Yeah, bro, that's weird. And anyway, we sorry, you were saying about... um. Uh, the sausages and I don't know what. Yeah, sausages, the way they make them. All this stuff. Bro, there's this type of meat that I love, way. And they told me, do you know what that's from? And I, I don't care. Because I don't want to lose the love of that meat. Pastor. Ooh. Do not tell me how pastor is being made. Because I'll probably want to eat it, way. Pero pastor, hijo, it's just the salsa and it's a marinated. It's, a, it's burger de carne, no, ¿qué es, way? No, I don't want to know. No, no. If anything, like ground beef, si te la pago, ground beef is un desmadre de puro pinche. Yeah, I didn't even know that. Yeah, I, yeah, I think el pastor puts his slices, way. So From I what I heard, and again, yes, could fat, check. fat check him. They told me too. It's the intestines. Mm. No te gusta tripa, hijo? No, way. Well, I don't know. I, mean, I haven't tried it. I haven't tried it. I can't la say tripita, no. la tripita, la tripita, la tripita, sada, picadita. Wait, tripi tripa, intestines, fool. I know. I, I need to try it. I tried higado. Okay. Higado is very, um, it's it's potent. Very, the, uh, the flavor is, if you don't I know, like, like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not for everyone. It's because not that's for a, everybody. Yeah, People hate it. it. But they say it's really good for your house. Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that, but I just like it. Um, oh, so if you like higado, pues you're not going to like tripa. Tripa is way better than yeah, higado. I haven't tried it, tripa. Pero asadita, uh, viejo. Frita y asadita. ¿Qué están haciendo, viejo? I haven't tried it. Con el pinche salsa de guacamole. Cebuita cortida ahorita, viejo. Pues estamos como estamos, güey. Ah, Ampa adentro. Chayán. Hey, but I heard from the intestines and I heard it's all the leftover. They just stack it up and they just rotate it to be burned and then I never seen it and I don't want to look at it. I love pastor, bro. Pastor loves you. Burrito. Hey, what do you want burrito? Pastor. Tacos de pastor. I love pastor. Oh, yes. Um, Where did pastor originate from? Isn't that from like Armenia? Lebanese. Lebanese? Le Lebanese? Le Lebanon. Lebanon. It's a Lebanese plate. There you go. Lebanon, That's yeah. crazy, huh? How cultures collide, we. I told my swagger that and I like, no, he did. I'm like, yeah, he did. A ver, para ti, ¿qué es un platillo americano, viejo? What do you consider an American dish? Mm. Weird, no, weird as fuck. Salads. Okay. That's what you consider up Yeah, here? salads, hot dogs, and hamburgers. Okay. Well, hamburgers is from Hamburg, Germany. That's a German fucking thing. Fool. Hot dogs? Hot dog. Italian. Italian. Italy. <laughs> <laughs> hot dogs is Italian. Italiano. Um, no, but yeah, I mean, I don't think we have platillo like America. Like, this is American. It's now. It's like America's a fucking mixture of everything. Way. You go to the corner here, not pinche pupusa. The corner over here, you got fucking tacos. Corner over there, you got Italian food. Go more further out, or oh, some Armenian food, kebabs, steaks. Where do they come from? Texas, USA. No, I think yeah, I think um, I don't know steaks. Maybe maybe steaks. Is steaks an American dish? I I don't like steaks. Do you like steaks? Yeah, I like steaks. No way. I mean, se me hace mucha carne. Me siento bien hinchado, viejo. Once in a while, it's good, way. No, no, but see, once in a while it's good, but I'd rather, if you let me choose, you open up in chip, open up a Yeah? Yeah. I don't eat red meat as much. So if you had to, okay, I'm going to put a, a, a scenario. Mm. I'm throwing a party. Yeah. RSVP. Okay. You have to choose between two dishes. Filet mignon or chicken alfredo? Ah, pues chicken alfredo, viejo. ¿Neta? Chicken alfredo is fire, viejo. No, it is, but un filet mignon, pues Oscar style. Oscar style. With crab on top. Lindo, viejo. No, ya está, está, ya está la cocina, viejo. Oscar style. Oh, yes. I have a, I have a story. Tell you know, real quick about food, Henry. I have a little story that I wanted to, wanted to share with you. Okay. This was brought up in one of our chats and one of our, our messages that we got. Um, This story 
goes as this is what the story is about. Let me see. Let me see what you think about this. Okay. So it says, the girl posted, "Can someone please help me with an appropriate reaction to my mother-in-law announcing our pregnancy on socials before we did? Ginger, due date, and everything. We told everyone that we wanted to tell in person. Oh, oh, he, we wanted to tell them in person already, but." We are waiting to share online until after the 20 weeks ultrasound. I am absolutely steaming right now. My husband understands my anger. Um, she is a freaking boundary crosser. I think the, the mother-in-law. and um, But doesn't care as much as I do. I like to think it wasn't intentional. But I also feel like it is basic common sense not to do something like that. I am truly ready to just cut communications with her forever. She was going to drop her in-law. Before. So what do you think? Mother-in-law or mother? No, her it, don't, mo- it don't matter. Mother, it don't matter. Yeah, yeah. Right? Mother-in-law. So, yeah. What, what, okay. Yeah, it, it is. What first, do you think of that? First huh? of all, okay. I understand both perspectives. I understand the wife's perspective that she wants to be respected if she requested for her to not say anything she has to respect her decision that's number one who, who has to respect the mother-in-law okay as a mother-in-law i'm so excited i cannot contain it inside which is okay right now i feel like the mother-in-law like the the, the wife she knows the way the mother-in-law is she knew her mother-in-law was going to do what she did. There's no way she didn't know. She took that gamble by telling her. And now it backfired on her. Mm. So, now next time you guys have an announcement, do not tell her. And that's it. Lesson learned. Because if you guys go back to, hey, we're having a cake, and she goes and does the same thing, that's on you now. Why? Because you knew the way she was. Yeah. You put yourself in that situation. It's a gamble. You just hope for the best if they can respect your decision. If they don't, you got to move on. You just got to keep going forward. Just don't put yourself in that situation anymore. So she should drop her? She shouldn't drop. She could do whatever she wants. But no, I'm next, you. Next, next huge announcement, do not say anything. Do not tell her. And if she gets hurt, you have to tell her why you didn't tell her. Oh, I can't believe you didn't tell me. That's my stuff. Well, we didn't tell you because you like to open your mouth. That's my stuff. You guys don't trust me. No, we don't. She got some huh? No, but yeah, you're right. It's having boundaries. Right? Okay, I understand that too, the boundaries and everything, right? But if you don't want anyone to find out or restricting people no you don't can't. fucking say you shit no tampoco no, 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 it, 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 hold on hold on hold on bro i let you talk i let you rant for 20 minutes i ain't cut you off one time <laughs> let me talk go talk this is what i think bro okay i have some big news but i want certain people to know only that's already a, that's already bad already because why, if why? you want a secret to be only here you cannot contain other people's um, communication. I can't expect you to be this. I would hope so. I would hope that you respect my decision, but I am. it's already a 50-50 gamble there, Rico. It's already a 50 if, if I tell you something and I'm like, hey, but don't tell these people yet. And it's like, what the fuck? And then that person going to be like, okay, okay, I'm not going to tell no one. I'm going to just tell them to write them too. But I'm going to tell them not to say shit. Okay. Those two people. Okay, okay. I'm going to just tell them two right here. But I'm going to tell them not to say shit. Ahí se van a ir. Yeah, se van a ir. Ahí se van a ir, güey. And then the whole fucking world finds out. And they start congratulating you. Congrats. For what? We having a kid. What the fuck? Oh, I know you weren't supposed to know, but I'm just, I'm so excited for you. Congratulations. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. So, if you don't want people to find out, don't say anything. I think... 
announcing it to people, it's a beautiful thing, right? But there's people that think that there's there's reasons of why they don't want they don't want to. Like that girl said she was waiting for the twenty week ultrasound, right? Why? Because a lot of things could happen can transpire between that. Because no, those were the miscarriage. This is it. a lot of stuff could happen, viejo, yeah. during pregnancy because it's it's, a, it's obviously a, a very delicate situation to be in. But I just feel like it could happen at any moment, viejo. It could happen when the baby is born. You just guarde, el niño sale just dead, viejo. It could happen a year later from SIDS. It could happen. It could happen any time. That's how I feel about it. I don't think the girl should cut her, her suegra, especially if you know how your suegra is, viejo. Like you said, like you mentioned, she was. She probably knew how the suegra was, and she's like, "Fuck, I don't know to tell her or not." She, if she was already second guessing to tell her suegra, that's already a fucking red flag as it is. Yes, I agree. So you shouldn't be like. Oh my God, I don't know if to. If you're second guessing or you know, telling someone some news, then don't tell them. It's that simple. Yeah, don't, don't even. As and much as you and if you them. receive some good news or some, some confidential shit, you should respect that person's decision. Especially if they took into consideration and told you something so secret about their lives for your ass to be opening your mouth. But if you know how I am, and don't fucking trust me with no secrets. Exactly. I agree with you. Yeah, bro. But I don't think she should cut her off. I think she should be like, hey, I told you not to say anything until the 20 week, and you didn't let me announce my own pregnancy. So now, you're going to be the last person to know every pregnancy. Every, not every pregnancy or any, any, any story of us, period. Because you couldn't respect my decision, so that's what you're going to get. And now if you want to act mad, then you act mad. I couldn't have said it better myself, bro. Yeah, that's right. I feel, I feel like um, um, it, there's a lot of things that are in play. Um, And going back to a situation how people want to raise your family or, or make decisions for one. It's like, no, 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 no. no. You got like I said, like when we talked about the last time, you got to respect people's decision over whatever they want to do. But oh, pues, I mean, you got to understand our people. Our people, plus, we, we don't understand that, people. We, we, need to, we need to educate them, way. Sometimes they don't want to be educated, fool. We need to try. Once we try, it doesn't work, then we walk away. That's it. And just it. drop them or what? No, drop them. So what do you think of her? She thinks she could get dropped? She could drop them? Uh, no, don't drop her. Just don't tell her anything anymore. That's it. But are you going to... She's going to drop herself. Hey, but are you going to communicate with her? No. No, don't communicate with her. Don't tell her anything. No, 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 not even like, hey, this is, don't, don't tell her, like, I'm not going to tell you anything no more, like, zero. No, 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 see, that, that's bad, that's bad way. Why? Because you should communicate. You, they, they should know exactly why. They know racking. what they no. do, way. For you, you think they know, way. For them, they probably think, like, why, what's a big deal? I'm so happy that you guys are pregnant. I don't understand why you want to wait so much. Wait. So they know what they did. They know they're on the wrong. It's really up to you how big of a big deal you want to do But it. you think, you assume they know. You assume they know that that's wrong. You're assuming, wait. Everybody's different, viejo. You cannot assume because of what you think and because of common sense, people would know what you're talking about. No, way. That's why you have to communicate. Hey, you know what? Andas valiendo papura purutita. B, this is the reason why I am not going to tell you any other news of me, and you'll probably be the last person to know. Okay. There's no right, right or wrong there, way. You want to communicate with her? Communicate with her. You don't want to communicate with her? Don't communicate oh, with wait, her. That's, that's I think, no, hold no, up, no. hold up. I think you're, she's eventually going to come to you and be like, how come you're not telling me? And then you communicate with her. If you don't want to give that effort, be like, hey, you know what, I'm upset at you because you did this, this, and this, then that's fine. But if they come be like, oh, you're mad at me? Then she fucking knows. And then, Next pregnancy, if she does, hey, how come you didn't tell me? Well, I didn't tell you because you went ahead and opened your mouth. And that's it. You communicated with her there. Yeah. I think when something happens, you should address it then and there. Wait, I don't think you should fucking let it mar marinate. You should think they, sh they should know what they're doing wrong. No. Th there shouldn't be a gray area or an assumption of why you're mad at a person. They should know exactly why you're mad at them, wait. 
and let them fucking know. That's how I feel about situations, bro. If something triggers you, I'm gonna tell you, hey, bro, you know what? You're, I'm just letting know best. They'll, they'll fucking. I will let them know, way. This is fucking whatever it is I'm feeling, and I'll let you know how I'm feeling. But that's just the way I do things. And you it's okay. Do, it's you okay. guys can do whatever you want if you want to marinate it and and act like, I let and that act, shit marinate. And act like nothing's wrong and <laughs> what the fuck is wrong? Everything's okay. Then let it be. Wait, who who does who does that? Who, who said? I don't know what you're talking about. Folks. I, I just don't said, know. You're mocking me like what? Look, let it marinate. Oh, let that shit marinate. Is there something you want to talk about for a while? Why why you take wait to, what's going on? Like, I mean, you're mocking somebody like I'm, I'm who said that? Did she say nobody, that? Nobody said that, bro. Okay. I don't know. Maybe she said okay. that, bro. Maybe. Okay. You're okay, everyone. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Ah, hey, let, <laughs> let that shit marinate. Don't let that shit marinate. You ¿A ti te gusta la carne mar marinated or not, fool? A mí sí. ¿A huevo? A mí también a la verga, fuck. ¿Y luego? When you go to la rosca, hey, preparado o no preparada? Preparada. ¿Y bien? luego? Fuck it, let it marinate. Then. Let that shit marinate. The more you let it marinate, the more it tastes better. Nah. Yeah, you're right on that carne, but on the situation, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Here's another good episode, Vico. It was good, huh? So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys like, follow, and subscribe. And we'll catch you later on another episode of The Y Podcast. So Last question. Know. Yeah? Menudo o pozole? Menu, dude. You guys hear first. Blanco. Menudo blanco. Saludos. Bye. What? Sí, sí later. con granos. Please. Sí, con granos. Con granos. That's pozole. Oh. Menudo doesn't have granos, güey. Oh, okay. Okay. You know what? We're not going to cut this shit, güey. What do you mean, bro? Where I'm from? Hey, I, es menudo con granos y garras y es blanco. Go ahead. It, I, I don't know. No, 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 no. I lo, Who I lo, eats menudo blanco no, con no, granos? No. I think everybody here eats it's menudo con granos, güey. When we went to Guadalajara, I think I went with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I love menudo, bro. Eh, un menudo lo trajeron. ¿Dónde están los granos? Oh, es menudo, no pozole. Pa. Lindo. It happens. But anyway, see you guys Catch you later the next episode. time. Subscribe, like, comment. Peace.